Whoa! Oh! What the heck? Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. And today, we're going to be hopping into Suspiria. This is going to be the 1977 version. I'm really excited to get into this one. Patreon probably knows a lot more than the YouTube, but this film has been on the polls for several times. I mean, going on over a year, uh, just in different settings and different months. And I'm kind of hyped to finally see this massive underdog take a win. Um, and we're going to be finally hopping into it. Uh, it's, you know, really cool to be able to just have all different types of films just on the channel. But it's really cool to also have like films that I just personally have noticed just barely missing the polls or just barely missing out on the uh, certain aspects here and there. But, you know, some of the Patreon members you know, ride or dying for this film. So it's really cool. And it's a nice little win when you get films that, you know, have been underdogs for quite some time. And finally, it making it to the channel for, you know, us to digest it to hopefully have a great time with this one. Um, this one is surprisingly horror. I had no idea that this was even remotely close to horror, you know, even from other moments and, you know, movie selection polls that I had put up on the Patreon. But um, it's cool that this one's horror. It's going to be interested seeing what type of horror this is. Um, I have no idea what this film is about. I have no idea other than just, you know, seeing its name multiple times on the Patreon polls. Other than that, I have no clue what to expect. So if this is something that you've seen before and you're excited to see what I'm about to dive into, then hop right in. You guys came for you guys came from uh, for a good time. You guys came to a good place to see what is about to go down with this. Like always, guys, if you want to be able to support the channel, the best way to do it is through Patreon. Like I've been repeating, uh, repeating multiple times. It's always a great time over there. If you guys are wondering why or how we are able to pick all these films, you know, from different genres, different uh, eras, different, you know, di different textures, all of that good stuff. It's definitely because of the Patreon. So shout out to them for the great taste. You can also join that whole community if you would like to. It is the best way to support the channel but you don't have to you can still support the channel by leaving a like comment and subscribing again guys if you want to be able to watch and hear all that i have to say about this film maybe your favorite part isn't in the youtube edit definitely check out the patreon again where you can sync up your copy of the film with mine and you can have a good time i wonder if this film is probably going to be a little bit more experimental not only just from that intro that was crazy experimental on the audio but you know because it's been underrated. Usually art films are a lot more underrated. I love them though. Okay, so already we are, we, we are popping off with the colors. Damn, that was awesome. <laughs> wow, okay. We're getting some Mahalan Drive type of uh, abstraction going on here. This is cool. Already, I mean, we, we just started this film and I'm already just feeling a little anxious. <laughs> this intense storm, the taxis all ignoring her. <laughs> This music that is blasting off in my ear that is contradicting the setting, it's intense, it's chaotic. I'm getting blitzed. I love that this film is doing a great job at creating a vibe. A lot of stories, or a lot of films, you know, that, you know, more so art, art house, um, they try their best to set up the story, you know, the narrative, which isn't a bad thing at all. But I love that in this, we're getting the vibe first. We're getting the texture of this film first. And eventually, maybe, the narrative. I'm also saying that too because the music has been non-stop. It's been just sweeping around my ears. <laughs> This film soundtrack is ridiculous. What? What? The soundtrack is awesome. Oh my goodness. 
what in the Wes Anderson? What the heck? What is this film? Yeah, I'm seeing so many elements of filmmaking taking 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 its its main course here. Like it really I can really see how the colors is a character, the soundtrack is a character, the set designs themselves being a character. Like I feel like the narr the narration of the story are isn't gonna come through our characters here. <laughs> I feel like it's the type of film that it'll come through the environment. <laughs> yeah, get the hell out. <laughs> yeah, I can see why you started booking it out of this place. What on earth was that? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, there's a murderer. There's an actual murderer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna get to the bottom of that. That was crazy. That had, like, David Lynch elements. <laughs> My goodness. How they showcased this murder felt like a nightmare. Wow. Oh, man. That is... That is crazy looking, man. I dig it. <laughs> I love it. I love that it's weird. Let's get it. <laughs> Tell me nothing. Show me everything. Artists everywhere. I'm delighted to have her niece here. Well, I offer you our Academy's official welcome in the name of our directors who unfortunately- What is this place, man? What is this place? What the heck is going on? <laughs> Established Academy dedicated to specializing. This is Pavlos, our general handyman. He's really ugly, isn't he? Don't be afraid to say so. <laughs> oh my god, okay, damn. That is so disrespectful, bruh. Jeez. Oh, you didn't have to bring these over here. I could have picked them up myself tomorrow. Oh, I thought you might be needing them. Yes, but it really wasn't necessary. I love looking at these characters' faces. Like, a lot is written when they're not talking. Like, I already knew there was, like, a unique relationship between her and her, her roommate. Just from him, like, looking over her. It's interesting. Also, this frame as well, too, shows that, too. Filmmaking! <laughs> there was so much noise. God, was she difficult. She was saying things that made no sense. She was always arguing, causing trouble. I love these camera zoom-ins, too. Just very subtle, just building up what that mystery could have been. I love how this is edited. What is going on? This is wicked. And this soundtrack is off the charts. I need to like download this soundtrack. I love this. This is like deep in the vault. And for those of you who know this anime, shout out to y'all, but doesn't this sound like Monogatari? For any of you who watch that which is really funny because they also do like abstract art and storytelling ciao see you later okay god i love these designs i love how the spaces look around these characters especially when you implement the colors and the lighting and the abstraction to it all this looks really freaking unique What is going on? Why, why, are, why is everybody fiddling with their hair? Oh. Ah. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's definitely why. Oh. Why they do a close-up of that? Why are they doing this? 
That is so disgusting, man. That is really diabolical. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> man, oh, I, I, I want to dissect this film. This is interesting. Man, is everybody having like a nightmare? Because I see everybody just like fidgeting in their sleep right now. This set is crazy. Like, what the heck? I feel like each and every moment of this film could be like an art installation. Last year for a while, I lived in one of the guest rooms. Once at the top of the stairs. I feel like I am, I'm, I haven't woken up from a, from a dream or a nightmare. I'm not even sure what this is. I feel like I just haven't woken up yet. This has been one long trip. <laughs> right behind that sheet. Y'all, this soundtrack is insane. I've never, like, I mean, I, soundtracks and horror, they go hand in hand, obviously. You know, I mean, just any of the slasher films, you can already piece together their soundtrack, especially when it starts playing. But man, this soundtrack is just, it, it, it's transforming. It almost feels like I'm metamorphosizing. It's weird. Did a kid just get attacked by the dog? Then get out, you and your dog! Get moving! You bitch! Out! Oh my goodness. Damn. Uh, I thought we was just gonna do some ballet, guys. Can you hear them? They're going away. This is weirdly similar to the lobster. Because, like, people are in a facility. There's, like, higher-ups. They're all trying to, I guess, like, work towards a similar goal and assimilate them. But there's some weird-ish happening as well. It reminds me of the lobster in that regard. <laughs> it is so interesting that... That audio can only be heard from the audience and not the characters. That's not used that, that that not usually is the case, especially in horror. Usually if they hear something, the people hear it. I find that to be very fascinating. Dance was kind of fire. <laughs> that was a pretty fire dance. What was that? I kind of want to learn that. That was cool. <laughs> this soundtrack is crazy. Damn, I like this soundtrack. I sound like a damn broken record. I apologize, guys. But if I like something, I'm going to say it to the moon and back. I'm really loving this thing. Whoa! Oh! What the heck? I was not expecting that. What the heck? Yo! By a madman, and now Daniel is killed by his dog. Yeah. I love these zoom-ins. They're so good. Damn, see, again, there's like shots like this where there's no story to be told here. It's just atmosphere. And it's just letting the atmosphere soak. And I, I love it. <laughs> you know, like, I, I kind of stopped trying to put the pieces together and just soak in, like, again, the atmosphere. I feel like that is that's such a... a primordial thing right now. I wrote it out yesterday evening while I was sitting here next to you. Susie, do you know anything about witches? 
witches. Oh, snap. Okay. That would explain a lot of this, then. I didn't even think of that. I love that the light is portraying the danger. That is so, so cool. I've never really seen anything shown like this, especially in a horror. Like, I'm not scared, but uh, it feels haunting and hopeless. <gasps> Woo! Oh, man. God. Damn, that's... I was ready for it. I... <laughs> oh, man. Oh! Oh no! Yo, I can't believe that happened. There was no way. Oh, this is painful, bruh. That's what I think it is too, right? That's like barbed wire. Is that barbed wire? Yeah, she's dead, bruh. She's super freaking dead. Sarah? Oh, yes. I heard her door close and her footsteps going down the hall. And and then I heard a car driving up down the street. I guess I'm... You two are sus, man. Suspect. That's, like, really crazy. Why are you doing this? Are you guys, like, feeding a, a ritual? Are you guys, like... What is the point? <laughs> I've already phoned Sarah. Cool. That was cool. That was cool. <laughs> Bad luck isn't brought by broken mirrors, but by broken minds. That's a great saying. Damn. I was about to say, you might as well leave on that note. That was a great, <laughs> that was a great last piece of dialogue to share. Damn. The goal is to accumulate great personal wealth, but that can only be achieved by injury to others. They can cause suffering. Wow. I did not know that. I did not know that at all. Damn. A coven deprived of its leader is like a headless cobra. Harmless. Skepticism is the natural reaction of people now. I love these camera movements. It's so great. They're able to bring forth a whole other atmosphere within the dialogue itself. I love, I, I, I love films that do that. So great. So many layers. Girl, if you don't grab that bat and throw it out the damn window. I can find out where they're going by counting their footsteps. Mm. Well, you're on the same path as the other girl who just got got, so just don't get got, then you should be good. I want to say I do appreciate how they've distorted the space of this entire place, bars. But, like, just seeing how it seems like the rooms are shuffling. And just the colors are just making the same room look different and feel different. It just makes the space that much greater. Another way I can describe it is, you know, if you guys have seen the cube, how the rooms are, like, rotating and switching, that's what it makes it feel like. Hence, like, the dreamlike, nightmarish feeling. What about that door over there? What if that door right there is an actual door? Huh? I'll start feeling all over the freaking place. <laughs> Put my fingerprints everywhere. Oh, wow, that really was a door. <laughs> well, I... I, I would have figured it out somehow then. I... <laughs> Vanish. She must vanish. She must die. 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 Wow. You just imagine hearing these people just ready to ice you. <laughs> like, sorry to ruin the parade. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd run in there and start throwing haymakers. <laughs> this is crazy. They're about to put a hex on you, girl. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, that is... Yo, yo, 
When this film wants to just dial up the violence, it totally can. What the hell? Who is it? Who's there? Man, you ain't gotta tell me twice. I'm, I'm going ham. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is crazy. That is cr absolutely crazy. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> I'm so happy my girl came through and shanked her. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. That is so cool. Man, I love how the environment has played such a role in this film, quite literally. This is an effed up Scooby-Doo mystery, I'll tell you that though. Oh my goodness, man. Just behind the scenes, there's somebody with a button just going like... <laughs> I do gotta say, I think it is cool that she's now embracing the storm. That was pretty cool. As opposed to the beginning. Wow, alright, and that's the end of Suspiria. Dang, okay, girl, she did a thing. <laughs> alright, everybody, we just got done Suspiria. This one is so freaking cool, man. I love, I love me some art house films. But man, this one freaking rocked. I love this. There was so, there's so much to love about this film that I feel like I've already mentioned in the commentary, but if I were to highlight again, I definitely gotta say uh, the the lighting, the, the well, the coloring, the um, the design of the environment, uh, the production design, and just the overall soundtrack, and all of that is you know equating to the atmosphere this film's atmosphere is so incredible i love how in tuned this film is with its unique atmosphere to the point to where the the narrative follows it too the narrative wasn't even that loose uh it wasn't as loose as i thought it was gonna be too this is actually a very good bow tie or not at the end of the story despite it being incredibly abstract still having a lot of clues and mysteries but you know just from a narrative perspective and seeing the beginning to end it's pretty well wrapped up um i gotta say though the soundtrack is so damn good i love the soundtrack i really want to know how they even came up with or the reasoning behind it like what, what what's the detail what's the the definition behind some of the soundtracks that are playing in this film and i do gotta say too i i really enjoyed the flow of our mystery here you know what's really happening at this location what's really going on at this boarding school um you know not necessarily boarding school but uh at this school for ballet what's really going on um where did all the other girls go you know where <laughs> where, where did everybody go um why was it that she was the key to everything there's so many things that i truly got to you know admire about this film just from an artistic level but even on a narrative level and just a a, a writing level um though i can't say like you know the writing is probably the weaker and i say this very lightly uh, the weaker aspects i hope this goes to show you that if you put a lot of effort into let's say for instance if the goal is your atmosphere of the film then i feel like everything else will kind of get pushed along with that i love the style of this it's so exciting seeing films that are so visually different not only narratively but just just presenting itself to the audience it's wild it's totally different it's totally just like something that you probably don't see every day <laughs> but man it really does uh stay within your mind and it really does linger and i really do think that's that that's that's a really good thing a, a, a narrative can do for people especially 
for audiences and, and people that are witnessing the story. I feel like being able to leave an impression, being able to show something new and showing something that is a different experience is always a win for me. I, I really do appreciate that. I think if the goal is that, if the intent is that, and obviously doing it in a way where, you know, you're keeping true to the environment that you set up, the rules that you've set up around your, uh, your, your world, no matter how abstract, um, you know, I feel like those things can really just elevate everything. And it puts your film in a, in a different league on its own. You know, is it like, you know, the greatest film ever? Is it like, you know, the most gorgeous film ever? Is it like the most well-directed film ever? You know, like these things don't really abide to this film because it's quite literally in its own lane. And I love, love, love that. I think that is so cool. That is definitely one of the more abstract horrors that we've watched on the channel. Um, but man, gotta say, I'm kind of intrigued with this director and their work. So if there's any other films that you would like to uh, present my way that is from this director or from anybody who's worked on this film, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Guys, this was Suspiria. This was awesome. I hope that you guys had a great time. Like always, guys, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches cause they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.